Hello, Scorpio viewers. I'm going to be looking into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, uh, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. So whatever story the cards want to tell. So please be clear and direct and to the point so that the message comes across to the viewers very clearly. This is intended for those that are drawn to this video. Keep in mind, if it doesn't resonate, then that means that it's not your reading. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right, let's see what the story is here. So we've got some hidden truth coming out here. And this, this truth that's coming up might be shifting your perspective or theirs. This could be a confession of feelings on your end or theirs. Um, there's just something coming to the surface right now in this connection. I sense a lot of tower moments in, the, in this connection right now. Like there's a lot, you've been kind of at a crossroads for a long time and someone is finally choosing a path and sticking to it. Okay. So I'm going to explain what the cards mean, what I get from the whole story. So the first one is listening and understanding, new perspective. True love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness, your faith, and your bravery. So I do really feel like you're at this kind of crossroads where you're, you're going through um, like a paradigm shift or your person might be as well. You guys might be mirroring each other in those aspects. Then we have hidden truth. We have happiness, warmth, and light. Love offer, commitment. Choosing their words wisely. Planning the approach. Stagnation, complacency. Divine intervention and synchronicity. And choosing a path. So the divine is coming in here. Synchronicity is strong. If they've been trying to ignore this connection... Um, their guides and your guides are basically telling them, hey, like you can't ignore this connection any longer. You need to make up your mind. You need to figure this out. You need to you need to to choose a path and either get this ball moving, you know, get in touch with your person, communicate, make things happen in this connection, or you need to have closure so that you can let them move on. And this is what it, the divine is most like. I mean, they could be saying it to you, but I'm guessing most likely to your person, they're telling them, hey, like, you, the viewers, deserve more than this, you know? Like, and you know that, too. You're like, okay, this connection need, either needs to come to fruition. Like, we, you guys need to communicate. You need to talk. You need to get things moving. Or you need closure so that you can move on to something better for you. And your guides know that, too. Like, if you've been frustrated and you've been praying about this, like, your guides understand. Like, they do empathize with you. They are trying as, as much as, as hard as they can to get your person to move one direction or another just so that the energy clears up because things have been so stagnant. Your, your person has been so complacent. They've just kind of wanted to have their cake and eat it too. It's like they didn't want to lose you, but they were too afraid to fully commit to you. Um, so yeah, that your, your guides and their guides are kind of stepping in and showing them the synchronicity, showing them the signs, trying to lead them back to you and basically just pushing them like, Hey, like get off the fence. You can't, you can't just, you can't do this. You can't do this anymore. You, you, you need to make a decision, you know, cause your guides want you to have true love, whether it's with this person or it's with someone else, your, your guides want you to have it all. And they know that you're kind of attached to this person. So they're basically telling them, you know, the divine is kind of telepathically communicating with your person and saying, hey, you don't get to be stagnant anymore. You know, we, you, you, you asked for an angel and we gave you an angel. So why are you sabotaging this? Like you asked for this love connection and I'm talking about your person. Like they're, they're your guys are telling your person this, not you. They're, they're probably telling your person this, like, or they could be telling you it's whatever, whatever your story is, but but mostly for the majority of you, I think your guides are probably telling your person this, like, hey, you prayed for an angel, you prayed for this love, this connection, and now that you have it, you're, you're afraid of it, you don't know what to do with it, are you kidding me? Like, your guides are getting kind of pissed off almost at this person because they're like, hey, we gave you this blessing, like, you, you have this shot at true love and you're being stagnant and complacent. Um, so your guides are kind of are bringing some tower moments, some major tower moments in for your person right now, you know, and they're basically telling them you have to choose a path because we're not going to 
allow this connection to, um, they're not going to allow the connection to take too much more of your time and energy. They're, they're tired of seeing you do this to yourself. They're tired of the pain you're in. I think that you're, I think maybe this person could have been a potential life partner or there could have been a lot of potential there, but you know, their, their fear and, you know, some of their issues just kind of keep getting in the way. The stag, this, just whatever stagnant energy this is keeps getting in the way and kind of blocking this connection, but they're doing it to themselves. You know, it's their fault. You know, their complacency is doing this, but, um, but yeah, your guides are coming through and saying, Hey, you, you gotta, you gotta make a decision. You have to choose a path. Um, or we're gonna, or they're gonna bring someone else new into your life. You know, they're at that point. They're like, they're, they don't want to see you go through this. They, they know that this is what makes you happy. They know that you love this person. And so they're trying to make that happen for you. But, you know, they're, they're also, they're as frustrated with your person as you are. You know, they're also at that point where they're like, okay, maybe we need to manifest a new potential life partner that's, that's more at his or her level, you know, more at your level. Someone who's actually like ready for you, you know what I mean? They're they're just not too sure anymore. But they're pushing them hard, and they're getting frustrated. They're they're getting really frustrated with your person, and they're pushing them pretty hard. So I kind of feel like this story is either something that has happened or that's like in the process of happening. So it really depends on where you're at. But I kind of feel like with this listening and understanding a new perspective card and hidden truth here, I feel like there is some kind of truth regarding like you told them their your feelings or they told you their feelings like there was some kind of open honest communication like you know someone found out that there was more love there than they had previously realized and it kind of shifted their perspective a little bit it kind of helped them see things from a from a higher perspective and this person sees you as their angel they see you as as you know this happiness this warmth this light they see this potential with you they see this this safe space with you they see this you know, like, um, like innocence, um, like it's like an innocent, pure light kind of energy, like, uh, just, uh, very, very strong, but very like soft energy at the same time. It's just like this pure light. That's kind of how they see you. And they're wanting to make this love offer and commitment. And again, I don't know if this just happened or if you're in the process, I don't know where along the storyline you are. It's going to be different for each one of you, but I think you guys already know where you're all, where where you are, so you'll be able to figure out from the story I'm telling. But you know, yeah, the, the truth came out and your person just kind of started realizing like they have this like this angelic light in front of them. They have this person that loves them and supports them right in front of them and they want to make this love offer and commit to you. And they were trying to like choose their words wisely, trying to figure out what to say to you, planning the approach. Maybe there was some honest communication that kind of threw them off, like they weren't prepared for all that. But, you know, then they kind of stepped back and they were thinking about it and like wanting to choose their words wisely and just, um, you know, trying to figure out what to say. But then at some point, it looks like they got stagnant, like they got, maybe they started overthinking it. Um, their fear took over. It's like all we had all of this, like this energy was all moving towards commitment for you guys. And then something just came right here and just boom, stagnation. When it's like they were about to reach out, they might have been like, you know, writing out text or, or messages to you online or whatever. And then they just like don't send them like they overthink them and they just get scared and they get stuck in their head. It's like this this free moving energy and boom, block right here. Um, and so their your guides are kind of like, hey, screw this, like, we're no, we're not doing the stagnation here, like, uh, 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 you have this chance, but this is your last, th like saying this to your person, like, hey, you have the chance with your scorp with your Scorpio, but this is your last chance, like, you need to, you gotta choose, like, they're telling your person, like, hey, you better choose a path. Um, and you better think long and hard. You better think hard about this, and you better choose something quick. Otherwise, we're gonna br they're gonna bring someone else into your life because they don't want to see you go through this. They don't want to see you go through the pain. Tell me more about what caused the stagnation. Tell me more about what this block is that needs to be cleared up. Please be clear and direct. Fear of commitment. <laughs> yep, fear of commitment. God. What else? We've got truth and clarity here. And then we have mutual feelings and emotional depth. I 
I think, I think, yeah, I think that's part of the fear of commitment is it's more of a fear. I don't think it's so much of a, a fear of commitment as, I mean, some people have fear of commitment because they're like afraid of, you know, being tied down or losing their independence. But I think this person has a fear of commitment because they're afraid of loving someone too deeply and getting hurt. I think that they are somebody who, when they really love someone, they give it everything. Like they really, it's like there's no balance with your person. You know what I mean? Either they're kind of cold and distant or they just completely fall deeply in love. It's almost like, I don't know, I don't want to say it's like a bipolar energy, but it's kind of similar where it's like they just, they really lack balance in their lives. That's that's really going to be an issue in your relationship is that they just, they don't have any balance. It's like all or nothing, you know, like they're, they're cold and distant or it's like they fall completely in love with you and, and just want to smother you. And they're, they're trying to stop themselves from getting to that point because they know once they completely let you in and love you, there's no going back from that. And the truth and clarity that came in is, is mutual feelings, emotional depth. It's like they realize that you do love them. They realize this love is stronger than they previously believed. They realize that this could be a lot deeper than they realized it could before. Like they just, they realized what was here. They started opening their eyes and seeing this this light and this angelic energy and this connection that they hadn't really fully um, been aware of before. You know what I mean? Something, some kind of hidden truth came to the surface. And even though that truth made them really happy, it also scared them because now they have the fear of losing it too. You know what I mean? So the truth is that there's love here. There's true love, there's mutual love. And even though that, that hidden truth makes them happy, it's, um, or it was hidden, it's, it's come to the surface now, I believe, or it's in the process of coming to the surface. Even though it makes them happy, though, they have this fear of commitment because they're afraid of, of losing it now that they have this kind of happiness and they have this potential here. They're like, they're realizing just how deep the potential is with you, you know, and it kind of freaks them out a little bit. Fast moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events. Yeah, um could also be it just really came in quickly for them like they weren't expecting this connection or maybe you guys communicated and it all just happened so fast and it's like they just they weren't fully ready for that you know like they but again your guides are getting to that point where they're like okay you need to you need to figure your shit out you're you need to you need to to make a choice and there's somebody else in your energy field so if this person doesn't get it together soon they're going to bring somebody else around because they're wanting you to have true love. I think that you've been praying for love for a while. I think that you felt alone and you've really, like, you're at a point where, like, I think you've done a lot of healing work. And I think you're at a point where you feel like you're ready for, like, as ready as you're ever going to be for a relationship. It's like nobody's ever really ready for anything. You know what I mean? Like, when true love comes around, nobody's ready. But you figure it out together, right? Um... And I, th I think that your guys, you know, they're listening to your prayers. They really are, even if you feel like they, like they aren't sometimes. They really are listening to your prayers for love and your prayers to, to find somebody that's going to match your energy. And, you know, your guides thought it might be this person, but now this person, you know, they have free will. So that kind of just this, just this stagnation and the fear just... It's like your guides took a risk with this person just like you did, you know? They're like, okay, let's let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can work with them. But your person has free will, and so they just threw this wrench into the mix where they're like scared, you know, just scared of, of how deep this is and how real this is and how quickly this came in. Um, so, yeah, your guides want you to have love, so they're not going to give this much more of a chance. You know, they're, they're, they're probably, they're going to listen to you, but at the same time, they don't want to see you hurt. So at a certain point, they might just say, screw this. If this person keeps doing this, keeps running, keeps choosing their fear over you at a certain point, your guides might just say, you know what, enough is enough. We're going to bring, we're, you know, you, the viewer, we're going to, we're going to bring you, uh, someone else who's, who's actually ready, even if it's not what you originally wanted. And there's a, there's a strong collective energy right now of, of of breaking patterns and letting go of people who are afraid of commitment and choosing pride and fear and whatever else over you. There's a strong pattern of breaking those patterns with those people and manifesting people that are emotionally available, ready, just going to match your energy 110%, you know? Uh, let's see. Can we look into this new person? What do we need to know? We're not there yet. I don't, I don't think you're, this group is there yet, but let's, what do we need to know about the new person though? Like what is, is there anything to know about the new person? They might not tell me yet, but let's see. But they're around. 
Okay, yeah, so you have free will here, but you're going to, let's see here. We've got spying. Let me lay them out. It's going to be easier to tell the story. Spying, toxicity, red flags, hidden motives, end of a pattern or cycle, breakthrough freedom, what we were just talking about. Chaser, chasey, power struggle, and then make your move, green light. I think the cards are saying you would have to, because your guides are listening to you, like I said, but at a certain point, they're just going to be like, screw this, we're bringing somebody new in. But I think you'd have to kind of consciously be working on, on breaking this pattern. Like if you have this pattern where you're with people, and a lot of us have it, this comes up a, up a lot, not just with Scorpios, but with like a lot of my, um, the readings that I do, I think because I resonate with that energy too, but it comes up, you know, in quite a few of my readings um, where I'm kind of led to, to tell you about patterns you might have and patterns that you can, that you need to break. And, and, you know, I think your guides are just kind of waiting on your, on your cue, you know, like they're kind of going to kind of wait and see what you want, what you feel. Do you want to pray for this connection to, to work? Do you want to keep praying for this person that's been afraid? Um, and if so, they're going to keep, it's, uh, it's up in the air. There's no guarantees with this person because they really are listening to their fear. And it's like, you got to stop and ask yourself, do you want that? Do you want someone who's so afraid? Do you want somebody who's not, they're a good person deep down? Yes, they do have a lot to offer deep down. But it's like, do you really want to dig and dig and dig to get to that? Or do you want to be with somebody who's just already ready to love you just as you are, as they are? You know what I mean? Somebody who's already done the inner work, somebody who's, who's, capable of giving you the love you want, you know? So your guides are kind of going to kind of wait on your cue. They're going to listen to your prayers, your, your intentions, your affirmations and see like, are you praying for this connection to come through for this person to come back around for them to get through their fear? If so, they'll keep working on this person. But if instead you pray and you focus your, your affirmations, your intentions, your energy. And you, you got to look into psychology too because subconscious patterns like childhood patterns come into play here. And so it's not just spiritual. It's also mental too. It's also mental patterns that you got to break, you know, subconscious patterns that you've been repeating. Um, and so your guides are going to listen. Like, are you praying for this other person to come back around, the person that's afraid? Or are you going to start praying to, are you going to start praying to, you know, be free of that energy and be free of, of, of that pattern that you've been repeating of emotionally unavailable people and, you know, breaking those cycles and patterns, you know, having this breakthrough freedom. Are you going to start praying for, for freedom to manifest somebody new, somebody who is already ready for you? You know what I mean? Like you have free will. It's up to you. And it's almost like it's not the choose a path isn't just for your person. It's also for you. Choose a path, you know. Do you want to keep trying with this person or do you want to end this pattern that you've been repeating with people that are emotionally unavailable and clear your energy up and just cut and clear this pattern and then manifest somebody new who's actually going to be ready for you? You know, the choice is yours. You have to choose a path too. Um, and you're, you know, your guides, you got free will, so your guides are going to listen to you. But if you do choose this path, then it's like you're going to start realizing the toxicity and the red flags and the hidden motives maybe that you might not have seen before. And you're going to be ending this pattern with people like that. And also ending the pattern of like spying, of having to spy on them, having to check up, having to like look at their social media posts or kind of like almost stalk them to find out what they're doing and who they're with, you know? Like, do you want that or do you want someone who just communicates with you and tells you what's up, you know? It's like you've had to spy on this person. You've had to like... In, in periods where you've gone without, con when you guys haven't been in contact, it's like you have to kind of watch them and see what's going on. Um, or they spy on you, but then there's like fear. It's like they just, they spy on you and they watch you and like, yeah, it's beautiful that they're, they're watching, but they're not talking. So does it really matter? Like, it's not that romantic. If you really think about it, spying isn't that romantic because it's like, why the fuck are you not just messaging me or calling me? Why, do you, why are we spying on each other? Why are we looking at each other's social media posts and not talking, you know? And so it's like you end that pattern of emotional unavailability of toxicity. And in the past, when you when there's been a power struggle, when you've had to chase people, I think 
by with this new person, you would be chased instead. And like you would actually be the one that would be chased. They would be making the move. They there would be green lights instead of. It's interesting. We have red flag here and we have green light here. So there would be green lights with this person as opposed to red flags, like there's been with people in the past. And they would be making the moves. They would be making the effort. You know, it would. They would be chasing you. They would be making the effort there. So it's it's, yeah. It's 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 choosing a path, choosing what you want, and. You know, if you do decide that you want to keep trying with this person, I just want to say that there's no guarantees. You know, I the the energy where it's at now is it's very unstable. They're really afraid. They're really they they do have love for you, but they're so afraid of getting hurt that that's clouding their their. It's just it's creating stagnation. Their their fear of you hurting them is just creating too much stagnation. Um, and at a certain point, though, it's like, is that worth it? Though, you know what I mean? It's like. The way I always see it, because I've, I've actually dealt with this a lot too. I've dealt with, um, you know, I was just dealing with a Scorpio man recently who was hurting me to protect himself from getting hurt, even though I was never going to actually hurt him. I actually really did love him, but I'm, I'm kind of seeing him as a coward more and more every day, to be honest. Um, but, you know, the way I take it is like he made that decision that I wasn't worth it, that I wasn't worth the risk. Like, he made that decision that he was okay with hurting me as long as there's no risk of him getting hurt. And to me, that is straight-up cowardice. Like, hurting the woman or the man that you love out of your own fear is cowardice. Having someone be vulnerable with you and pour your their heart out to you and just, you know, abandoning them or hurting them because you're scared, it's just, it's cowardice to me. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have a lot of patience for fear. I know that it comes up a lot in like the DMDF readings. It is a collective energy. A lot of the the, the masculines do do go through this fear and go through this process of running. But I I just I personally don't have a lot of patience because I've kind of had this perspective with that now after going through it for so for with so many different men that I kind of see it now as like cowardice. I'm like you're you're gonna hurt me to protect yourself from getting hurt. Like, screw that. I don't want that. I want somebody who's going to protect my heart just as strongly as they protect their own heart. I want somebody who's going to be my safe space, my protector. I want somebody who I'm going to be able to be vulnerable with without having to worry that they're going to run or that they're going to be afraid and they're going to hurt me. You know, it's like you can't really be vulnerable with somebody that, that does that shit, you know. But but again, it's, it's up to you. It's your path. It's It's your path. But, um, but there is somebody new in your energy field. I don't know if you've met them yet, but, but there, there, there's someone new that, that you're, the divine has their eye on for you. Someone new that they're considering bringing into your life. If, um, if you decide you're done with this, you know, they're kind of, kind of, um, what what is that one foot on land one foot on water what is that that quote where it's like they're kind of they're not it's not fully committal to either side they're kind of waiting on your on your cue um well i hope this helps thank you guys for watching and if it resonates please go ahead and subscribe to me i do these readings pretty regularly uh, if you'd like a paid private reading my contact info is below and I also, I make these oracle decks. I have them for sale. And if you're interested in buying one of the oracle decks, just contact me. Thank you.